So for today, we're going to be looking at the tight end set. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the individual sets for the spider set. Now, if you guys don't know, I usually review an armor, do the shader video, which they're both right here. You guys can definitely check them out. And then I make individual sets for those pieces. So like, for example, if I really like the boots, I will make a whole set revolving around those boots. I've already done the hunter one. It's right here. Definitely check it out. I think it's really cool. I definitely do recommend you guys check out the hunter one Titans. I will say there's three here that I really, really like. And then there's one that I tried my best, but I personally don't think it's as good as the other ones. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But other than that, let's get into it. So for the first set, we're going to be using Crepier's Horn for this one. And I think it looks amazing and really just finally finished my whole Kepri's look vibe that I was trying to go for. Funnily enough, this uh, set will actually either already be shown in the Kepri's Horn video or not depending on where I'm at editing wise with that video. If not, you guys will notice it here. I probably will just have a picture of it maybe, but either way, I love this set for the helmet. It's just the base ornament of Capri's horn for the arms. War Newman's fist is what I'm using. I definitely think I, I definitely think this looks amazing with everything else because will breakers resolve looks amazing. The crawling chaos grieve is what we're using for the spider set. And then war Newman's mark is what we're using. So two pieces from Oryx and then one piece from Kuroda. I definitely think this looks amazing just because it gives this, it gives it just such a like night look, but then the helmet and the boots really give it that like bug look, which is why I really, really like it. And before anyone tells me, I know spiders aren't bugs, but you get the, you get what I mean. Like they looks very like insectoid, uh, arachnid type feel. So I definitely think this is the best one for the shader. Lucid is what we're using just because I think the shader looks amazing with hive theme pieces. And overall, I think this might be my favorite set from almost everyone. If I'm being quite honest, maybe not the hunter spider set, because I do think that one was really good, but it's definitely up there with that set. Let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, this is the one that I was like, I just, I don't know if I like it or not. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's probably the helmet that I don't like. Speaking of the helmet, hex rot helm is what we're using for the arms. Forian gauntlets is what we're using just because a the armor looks very um, organic and the arms give off like a very like insect vibe, which is kind of like it goes with the chest piece, which the chest piece is what we're using the crawling chaos plate for the boots. We're going to be using the abatement leaps and you better get used to this because I use it in the last set as well. And I do think the last set looks way better, like amazing. And then for the mark, we're going to be using the dragonfly mark. So like, I think my biggest issue with this one is honestly just the helmet. Like maybe the helmet's just not my thing. And I probably should just go back to the board because I just don't think the helmet is good enough for the other pieces. Granted, I do think everything but the helmet looks really, really cool. So if you just want to go back in and maybe just change the helmet, and I def definitely think that would way be uh, that would be way better. But honestly, I just I think I kind of have to go back to the drawing board with this one because I don't think the chest piece is bad. I think it's pretty cool. I just think the helmet's not as good as everything else. As for the next set, we're going to be using the arms for this one, the Crawling Chaos Gauntlets. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think the arms look good um, with this set because I think the best piece there are the best pieces for this would have just been another hive piece for the arms. But for this one, we're going to be using Will Breaker's Watch, which is the Crota helmet. We're going to be using Warren Newman's chest piece, which is from Oryx and then Mark of the Pit, which is also from Crota. And we're going to be using the Husk Crushers uh, ornament from the Dune Marchers. So this one, I think my biggest issue is just the fact that the spider like limbs on the arms just don't look good that like that well. I think I would have preferred if the hands had that sharpness to it. I think that would have been way better. And then maybe add some spider like maybe spider babies on the arms. Other than that, like, yeah, it's just the limb on the arm just looks really weird. Or maybe have it on the shoulder pads. I think that would have been way better like pointing towards the camera because I think it just kind of looks goofy. I'm, I'm being quite honest. And yeah, I think that's like my biggest issue with it. It's just the, those pieces on the arms just really bug me. So yeah, I definitely think this set has potential, but you would just have to switch the arms for something else, which kind of like makes this whole process just kind of pointless considering I'm using the spider pieces. But for the shader, Warped Rackus is what we're using, which is the Crota uh, shader for getting all of the chest pieces or the secret chest pieces. And yeah, definitely, definitely let me know what you guys think about this one. 
And then last but not least, I have this cool looking spider look. So for this one, we're going to be using Edge Argent Territorn, which is really weird to me because I don't like Argent Territorn anymore. Ever since they messed up the shader, I think it's just become worse. But I definitely like this one just because it doesn't use a lot of the red. The only red I see is from the boots, which is, again, the Abeyant Leap. But for the Helmet Crawling Chaos Helm and the Crawling Chaos Mark is what we're using. And then for the chest piece and arms, we're going to be using the Lightkin Gauntlet and the Lightkin Plate because I'm trying to mimic the same thing from the Hunter Spider set, which is I'm trying to go for a hairy spider look. So I definitely think this is the best one. Um, this one and the first one, I definitely think are the best ones. But this one gives me more of a like a spider, uh, spider man like persona type thing because i can definitely see this being like somewhat like a spider-man like someone's spider-man and i definitely think it looks really cool a titan spider-man which is super cool so let me know what you guys think about this one i definitely think uh three of these are bangers and one of them unfortunately is not the best and i i shouldn't even say the the third one is a banger it's good i just don't think the arms are good so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see y'all later